Um, Mr. Joseph, you know, when you watch that, you see those videos and we, we listen to Jonathan Hunt's numbers. We know that homicide and violent crimes are indeed up. Um, but when you see these videos, it sure doesn't feel like robberies and this kind of activity is down. What we're actually seeing is this kind of these kinds of crime crossing socioeconomic lines. Now it's not just in the poor or lower middle class neighborhoods. Now it's crossing over into places like the Palisades. And it's unfortunate that it had to happen there for it to get the attention that it deserves for all Californians. And what I hate to see right now are politicians basically wanting you to forget it was them that pushed these reckless these reckless laws like Prop 47, 57, AB 109, no cash bail. They want you to forget. And now they're trying to turn and spin it and say, well, the police need to step up and do their job. But you can't cut the fist off of a boxer and then tease it because it can't box anymore. You can't do that. And what they've done to the police department is really rendered it impotent. You know, in fighting crime, as we saw, we arrested, we're doing the job. We arrested 16 criminals for smash and grabs. They were out before the report dried on the, uh, the, the ink dried on our report. So we have to hold our political leaders accountable, whether you live in the Palisades or whether you live in Watts. Yeah. We have to keep it 100 and real. Yeah.